Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Hope you guys are all having an amazing day. As you may or may not know, I am one of the founders and owners and the chief creative officer of Arctic Fox Hair Color, which is a vegan and cruelty-free hair color line. We also donate 15% of our profits to three different animal charities. I absolutely love animals. If you have been following me for any length of time, you probably already know that. You see all the animals that I rescue. I absolutely love animals. I love them more than people sometimes. Today we're going to talk about Arctic Locks. Da, da, da. These have actually already launched. Today we're going to go over uh, how to prep these, color them, and put them in your hair, but I'll give you a little bit of information on these to begin with. These are the whitest blonde that you can possibly get, perfect for coloring. They are 18 inches long, so like your hair would have to be like past your butt for these not to work for you. This comes with six one inch clip in wefts. So this is not a full set of extensions. I don't want you to think that it is, it is. They are for pops of color like you see in my hair right now. And I currently have two packs of these in my hair. It just really depends how thick your hair is, how much of it you have, how many different colors you want, what you wanna do. So I was like, I feel like I could even have gone with like a little bit less, but I was like, that would be really weird if I was like, I have like one and three quarters packs of my hair. Like how awkward does that sound? For the last few years, I've heard so many people tell me that they want to support Arctic Fox. They want to wear crazy fun colors in their hair because um, they used to or whatever, but they can't because of school, work. They don't want to damage their hair or their hair is already too damaged. So I thought to myself, I was like, okay, we got to create something where anybody and everybody could have fun colors in their hair or braid it in or whatever you want to do. So then it came to me, I was like, okay, we need to create like a pack of DIY extensions, but really good quality because there's a lot of bad quality extensions out there. And so that is how Arctic Locks was born. This is the packaging. There's also a special message for you under this flap. So when you get your hands on your pack, flip that over and read it. That's for you. There are some um, tips and tricks on how to prepare your extensions for coloring. So definitely keep on watching for that. I'm also gonna show you how I like to color these. It's a lot more simpler than it looks. And the reason that they came in, that we wanted to do them in like a white blonde is so that you have the creativity, it, the ball is in your court, like whatever you wanna create here. If you wanna do a completely custom shade, a color melt, a solid shade. So you get to choose um, exactly what you wanna create and what you wanna put in your hair. We also created these with quality in mind. I I personally have very thin hair, so extensions have to be like top notch, high quality. So this is Remy Russian hair. It's so soft, it feels great. It's not gonna get nasty and tangled in your hair like some of the cheaper extensions out there. These are amazing. We put a lot of work into these. If you'd like to see how to install the extensions and how to clip them so they like mesh right into your own hair and it's blended in there really nicely, um, we filmed a video over on Arctic Fox's YouTube channel with one of our favorite hairstylists, Liz Vargas. So I will link that in the description box below so you can go and check that out after you watch this one. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you exactly my favorite tips and tricks and exactly how I colored these. We're gonna go over how I colored this this shade right here and then the more purple shade. I will leave all of the um, like the recipe, if you will, for these colors and my actual color in the description box below. So the description box is your best friend. It's gonna have everything you need there. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is wash your extensions with a nice clarifying shampoo. Do not condition them. But before you wash, what I like to do is take them out of the packaging, but let them remain as a bundle with that gold tie that you see on there. This is gonna make washing them so much easier as opposed to cutting them out of that and washing them all individually. They can tend to get a little bit tangled up. So wash those with some great clarifying shampoo. Do not condition. And then you'll take those out. Make sure you rinse them really, really well. I like to use a high pressure sink. And then this is a great way to dry your extensions all by yourself. You don't need anyone else to help you. Put down a towel, a large paddle brush, and just run the extensions one by one. For the color melt on these particular extensions, we are doing a color melt with three different shades. It's gonna be aquamarine full strength, which is a beautiful teal, deep teal shade. And then we're using Arctic Mist for the middle shade to dilute it down a little bit. And then an even lighter shade for the very tips of the hair. And these color bowls are awesome. They clip together or snap together and make color melts so much easier. So starting at the top of the extension, fully, fully saturating the hair. We're starting with 
just pure aquamarine and then blending that down into the middle shade and then the lightest shade towards the bottom. And you really, really wanna saturate these as much as possible. And you're gonna look and see, make sure that the sh color that you're trying to put on there is dark enough for the extensions. You'll be able to tell when it isn't, when you're seeing yellow poking through, as you can see right here a little bit. So I added a little bit more aquamarine. That's how you're gonna know that your shade is going to be dark enough. Also, the shade will deepen a little bit as time goes on. So now you're gonna wanna flip over your extension and do the same exact thing on the other side. Make sure you're getting underneath the clip area and there's no extra blonde spots in there. Um, this is really important to flip over the extension so that you're getting a full saturation through the entire extension. You really have to work the color into the hair. Once I've finished coloring both sides of the extension, I like to pick it up and really work it through with my hand, make sure there's no blonde spots peeking through. And you can also lay it back down and kind of smooth it out with your finger and just see if there are any blonde spots peeking through. And at this point, you're gonna wanna save the color that you use to color your extension. So when we get to the point of drying and if there's any splotchy spots, you can touch it up super quick and easily. After you've thoroughly colored your extensions and you're not seeing any blonde spots peeking through, you're gonna go ahead and set those aside and let them sit for a minimum of 30 minutes. So you can leave it anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. It's not going to damage your extensions in the least. Arctic Fox is not damaging whatsoever. Then after that time, you're going to rinse your extensions extremely well. I like to use the kitchen sink and flip the little switch on there so it's a really high pressure wash coming through. Make sure you clean out where the extension clip is very well. It's happened to me quite a few times where I've left a, some color under there and I don't realize it until I'm drying them. Now at this point, if you're seeing any blonde peeking through, even though the hair is wet, grab your color and glob some of it on there and work it in with your hand and then you can leave it for about 10 minutes, rinse and dry. And you can also add a bit more color on if you're drying and you're seeing some spots that are a little bit splotchy because it didn't get a full saturation of the color. You can always fix that, don't worry about it. Go back in with a little bit of color and just rinse after about 10 minutes and then your extensions will be looking awesome. Ta-da! And now your Arctic locks are ready to be installed. So there you have it, we are finished. And here I've styled these into my hair. And again, if you're curious on the like kind of um, recipe of these shades and my hair color, it will be in the description box below. I'm super excited to see what you guys do with your Arctic locks when you get them. Thank you so much for your love and support. And we will see you on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I will be stalking you guys. Thank you so much for watching, bye.